Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. i um, doing it this week from Montreal and um, now for the next few Tip of the Weeks I'm going to try to keep them short and sweet. We are kind of in the summer months now and I think um, maybe um, less people are tuning in as they might be taking their vacations and so on so I want to keep them pretty short so that people can catch up relatively easily when they get back from their vacation. So let's do this one. We're going to call this one now um, the data view. Um, so I'll do this demonstration in Harmony, but we do um, have the data view, of course, available both in Animate and Animate Pro. So I just want to do a really quick example here to show you what the data view is and how it can be useful. I'll just do a really simple, um, on frame 1 I'll draw 1, and on frame 10 I'll draw 2, so I've got two different drawings to work with. Um, maybe I'll even, let's do 3, let's do a number 3 as well. So. Um, when you're working in the timeline, as you're working, whether you're doing cutout or whether you're doing paperless, you're probably working with a timeline or an X sheet. And um, sorry, I've been doing some different stuff. I think I did some 3D stuff today, so I've got my workspace all funky. So let's just do a restore default workspace to get back to the default one there and get myself back open. Okay, so. Um, so most of the time you're probably working with the library and you might be doing some drawing swaps here using your library view um, and the drawing substitution window um, but there is this very useful little thing down here in your timeline it's these um, two sort of arrows facing each other and that when you mouse over it and says show data view and the data view is just a place where it's got some additional information so when you're on a drawing layer that has drawings on it it shows you the name of the drawing, so here's the name of the drawing layer, and then here's the name of the actual drawing within the drawing layer. So I can see as I mouse over the different ones, now I've got drawing number two showing the same as it will show in my drawing substitution window on the library. So if I want to, let's say I want to go here in the middle and I want to swap to frame three, I could swap by dragging on the slider here in the library, but I can also swap by dragging on the slider here in the data view or I can double click on that number and I can actually type the number in there if I want to swap let's say to drawing two there instead. So that's just um, you know something to give you a hint of another way of working there. When you have functions on a drawing, so let's say for example if I have a peg layer on this and maybe I want to put some keyframes so I'll have a keyframe where this drawing is sort of to the left a little bit and I'll have another keyframe later on where the drawing moves over to the right. Um, then if you click on the plus sign down here, the data view will also show you some information on the functions that are attached to this drawing. So in this case, I've got a 3D path, and because I've got the 3D path on the peg, it shows the path here and the velocity, and then you get the different scale, rotation, skew, that sort of thing. So what's interesting about the data view, though, is that two things are interesting. The first thing is that it actually shows you the values for the current frame. So, you know, as these, as you mouse through here, you can see those changing, which I find very useful. The other thing is that you can add keyframes directly in here. So, for example, I could add a keyframe on the scale X, and I could actually change the value directly in here if I want to. Um, and maybe the scale isn't a good example of why you'd want to do that, but sometimes you want to just quickly add and remove keyframes and you might know exactly the value that you want to do. Like a lot of times when you're doing effects, like maybe you're doing blurs and you want to kind of just, um, you know, make that effect oscillate a little bit, then you can go in there, create keyframes, blah, 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 uh, on you go. And um, then you can just plop the numbers in there and it's really fast. So that's it for my quick demo on the data view and I'll see you guys next week.